what is this magical machine that's going to poof passion into our lives? Well, here's what I like to tell my students. You gotta start with an interest. You gotta start with asking yourself, what is it that piques my interest? What do I have a feeling of curiosity towards? Hmm, scan your landscape, scan your world. Where do those little, little fireworks start to go off? Okay, and then what we're gonna do is use the personal interest project to apply enthusiasm, which is connected to passion, commitment, we're committed to this process, and our time, this is the magic machine. This will produce for you a passion so great, so huge, that it will drive you forward, that it will electrify your being every day, and you will feel it, and it will be contagious in a beautiful way to others. Now, good news, I've got 10 strategies for you. We're gonna cover the first couple in this video, and then in the next videos in step one, we're gonna get all the way to number 10. 10 strategies that are gonna help you find your passion, find that connection, know yourself in a deeper way. Step one, we've kind of already covered it. Go with your first idea. When I just ask you, what are you passionate about? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? What are the activities, the things you think about, the things that you like to do after school? What are those hobbies that just, you know, you identify with? Like, this is, this is what I care about. This is who I see myself as. All right, your first idea. If I ask my son, what do you like? What are you passionate about? Cars is the thing. That's the first idea on his mind. All right, strategy number two, a little bit more complex. <laughs> The quick questionnaire. What I like to do with my students is when I first meet them the first day, the start of the school year, I like to give them a quick questionnaire to get to know them in a deeper way. And it helps them get to know themselves in a deeper way. So it looks something like this, and you've got this quick questionnaire in your workbook for this section, and I've got another copy of it right below this video. So the quick questionnaire starts off by asking you simple questions. Three interests or passions, like I right there ask you. And if you don't have an answer right off the bat, leave it blank. That's the beauty of this. This, you're not getting a grade on this. I'm not gonna mark you, you know, A, B, C, or D. This is just like a net to go hunting with, to catch your passions, and whatever you can catch, bonus. And if you catch nothing at the end of this, don't worry, I've got oh, like eight other strategies for you. <laughs> so give this a try and you might come out ahead. So three school subjects you enjoy, if you had to pick, five after school activities or hobbies. You know, do this process, just kind of do a brain dump where it all comes down onto the page. And then the next thing you wanna do is dialogue about it. Have a conversation. Dialogue means to just have a chat. Have a chat with someone that you know. A friend, a family member, a neighbor, a teacher. Somebody who when you share this quick questionnaire with, they can say, oh, well, I noticed you were reading a book about such and such the other day. And, and you didn't put uh, that on your questionnaire. Are you interested in that subject? Oh yes, of course I am. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So when you explore this with somebody else, they can give you that other perspective, that other side to see you in another way, in a bigger way. Do the quick questionnaire, share it with somebody else, and then in the next video, which is all about the multiple intelligences, I'm gonna teach you why you are a genius and you might not even know it. All right, so go ahead and do that. And as always, think critically, think creatively, and be the leader that this world needs. I'll see you soon.